Hello, and thanks for joining us. Here is business review of January 18th, 2022. The government of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Goldwyn Emefile, has lauded the courage and resilience of smallholder farmers for achieving the single largest rice pyramid ever assembled in Nigeria history. Emefile said this on Tuesday during the unveiling of the bags of rice paddy, numbering 1 million stack as pyramid in Abuja, the nation's capital. According to him, it is in line with the current administration's promise to provide full security in the country. Emefile said in spite of the challenges of the past few years, including insurgency, banditry, etc., the farmers remain resilient, producing beyond just self-sufficiency. The mega pyramid being launched represents agitated party rice submitted as repayment of loans by the Rice Farmers Association of Nigeria, Refan, under the 2020 dry season and 2021 wet season. He said further that the event also symbolizes the efforts made by farmers to commit to loan repayment through produce submission and ultimately ensuring the sustainability of the program. The Anko Boras program of the CBN was launched in November 2015, first in Kebi State, to bring relief to farmers and impact the value chain of different crops in Nigeria. The program has also improved the national output of 9.5 million metric tons in quality rice, making Nigeria the largest food producer in Africa and also saving Nigeria foreign exchange. The Senate President Ahmed Lawa has said that President Muhammadu Buhari has not directed anyone in his administration to implement the removal of fuel subsidy. This is coming against the backdrop of the statement made in October 2021 by the Minister for Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, that the federal government would only make provision for petroleum subsidy for the first six months of 2022 as the administration moves towards the complete deregulation of the downstream sector of the oil industry. This was made known by Lawan while briefing State House correspondent after meeting with President Buhari at the President presidential villa in Abuja on Tuesday to convey the concerns of his constituency on various issues including the proposed removal of subsidy. The Senate President said the lawmakers are worried about the agitation and protests across the country on the matter which prompted the discussion with the President. He said he was glad to inform Nigerians that President Buhari has not instructed anyone to remove fuel subsidy. Going further, he raised doubt over the claims that Nigeria consumes 100 million liters of premium motor spirit PMS daily, attributing such level of consumption to smuggling activities. The Senate President explained that while it is impossible to consume that much within the boundaries of the country alone, there is a need to critically investigate to discover the truth. He blamed the smuggling of petroleum products on the failure of the government to contain the menace, a situation that has pushed the burden of payment on the ordinary citizens. And straight to stock news, the Nigeria Exchange NGX equities market recorded the first gain of the week on Tuesday as the market capitalization gained 138 billion naira to close trade at 24.59 trillion naira. The all share index also appreciated by 0.58% to close at 44,655.89 points. Investors exchanged 235.23 million deals with market value of 1.92 billion naira in 4,151 deals. The market sentiment for the day was also bullish as the market recorded 27 gainers topped by Skyway Aviation and 13 laggers championed by NEMT Insurance. Transcorp Nigeria PLC had the highest volume of 38.1 million traded shares, followed by guarantee trust holding with 18.7 million traded shares. In other markets, the US dollar in the investors and exporters window appreciated 0.02% to stand at 415 naira 32 kobo. The pound sterling sold at 564 naira 75 kobo, while the euros went for 472 naira 83 kobo. Inflation rate is 15.63%, while the monetary policy rate (MPR) remains 11.5%. Crude oil prices hit the highest since October 2014 as the price of the commodity hit $90.09 per barrel on Tuesday. And that's Business Review. You can find me on Instagram at Scribe of Solomon. Double check to see if you are subscribed to this channel, tap the bell for notification, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And until I see you next time, my name is Ayo Adedotun. Bye for now.